Hello again. This is a bonus reading from the Subs Club, and this is the scene where the four friends actually form the Subs Club. So this is all from Dave's point of view again. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you all for being here today. I looked across the table at Miles, Cayman, and Gold. I'd made them all sit on the same side, so they looked like a panel of judges at a pie contest. I have something important to show you. Miles adjusted his glasses. If it's porn, please don't bother. I can't stand another reminder of how not late I'm getting. Miles's cardigan today was dark blue and oversized. Nice sweater. I nodded at it. Neighbor Aber been by lately, or I am in no mood for your sartorial appraisals, David. So, is it porn? Cayman sounded excited. Better. I turned my laptop screen to face them. Behold. The subs club. Gold read off the top of the page. I leaned over the screen to read with them. The blog was done in a tasteful beige and hunter theme. Right now it had only one follower, me, but that was about to change. What is this? Miles looked up at me. It's our new blog. We're going to use it to get people talking about doms. Gold frowned. Doms? Yeah, like what makes doms either good or shitty? We can talk about our own experiences, invite other subs to share theirs, and like start a dialogue about what doms need to do in order to not be assholes. I checked the screen again, and... We don't really have to call it the Subs Club. That was just a lame placeholder title I put in. Cayman crossed his arms on the table. It makes me want a sandwich. None of them seemed to be jumping on board. Gold squinted. Did you do this in WordPress? Yeah. I tilted the screen so he could see it better. Ricky helped. It looks nice. Thanks. Miles tapped the table with his finger. You know, this is a very interesting idea. I know. I nudged him. And you'd be really good at it. You love writing and thinking and stuff. And I actually like the subs club as a name. Came and nodded. We're like the babysitter's club. Except instead of babysitting, we're face sitting. Came in. Gross, I said. Now I'll never be able to read the babysitter's club books the same way again. Gold glanced at me. Do you still read the babysitter's club books? I cleared my throat. Moving on. All of us need to come up with usernames to protect our privacy. We can invite subs we know to become members, and then they'll be able to post and comment. It'll be private. That way submissives have a safe place to talk about, like, if a dom abused them or whatever. Basically, everything that match won't let us discuss, we'll discuss here. Miles did not look pleased. Are we equipped to mediate that sort of discussion? Why not? He shook his head. I don't know. Remember the last time we tried to have a group blog? You mean the log blog? The four of us had once started an ill-fated blog where we posted pictures of noteworthy shits we'd taken. we developed quite the rabid fan base on Reddit before we had to take it down. Yeah! Came and slapped the table. The log blog! I made a face. We were super immature back then. It was two years ago, Gold pointed out. Exactly. Now we're all grown up and ready to have a serious adult blog. Came and leaned back, stretched, and scratched his chest. More shits were the best, right? Miles rolled his eyes. Cayman, yours defied the laws of nature, and everybody in this room thought you should see a doctor. Cayman turned to Miles and offered his hand for a high five, but Miles didn't return it, and Cayman slowly put his hand down. Gold never even participated, he muttered, rocking his chair back on its hind legs. Because I don't feel like sharing my bowel movements with the internet, Gold said. It was anonymous! Gold was easily embarrassed, especially by bodily functions. I'd known the guy for years and had yet to hear him fart. So, what do you guys think? I moved my laptop from side to side, letting everyone take a good look at the screen. The subs club. Who's in? I am. Came and righted his chair with a thunk. I suck at writing, though. I'll spell check you, buddy. Miles nodded. I'm in. Miles never missed a chance to show off his BDSM knowledge or voice his opinion on anything kink-related. This would be right up his alley. Only Gold remained silent. Gold, I asked. He looked up at me. What if we reviewed doms? Reviewed? Yeah. What if we listed doms we'd played with and let people rate them on like safety and skill? Ooh, Gold. I could totally get into that. No, Miles said. Terrible idea. Why, I asked. It's a legal minefield. We wouldn't use anyone's real names, just their fet names. Still, it's a public persona, and you think these guys won't know who wrote the reviews if we're describing specific scenes? We could have a sign-up form to join the blog, Gold suggested. Make sure we only let submissives in. Doms never even have to know it exists. Yes, because that's how the internet works. What happens when a member forwards the blog to one of the doms we're writing about? I jumped in. It's not 
illegal to talk about people in the community on community-oriented forums. Remember that review on Fed a couple months ago trashing that rope groups demo? Miles's cardigan buttons clicked against the table's edge. But a group like that, they're putting themselves in the public eye in a way that individuals are not. I really think we'll be fine, I said, as long as we don't use names. And obviously, we do not publish any information about where these doms live, work, etc. Though, in the case of doms who are genuinely unsafe, I see no reason not to link to their FET profile, provide details of exactly what they did, and share any pics they've made available under their profile names so subs will recognize them if they ever meet them in a club. The problem, Miles insisted, is that the doms who don't give a shit about hurting subs in a scene are the ones who'd be crazy enough to retaliate if they're outed. So we should just let them continue to scare their victims into silence? Miles sighed. Hey, Cayman raised his hand. Yes, Cayman, I said. If someone posts that, like, a dom is abusive, how do we know if they're telling the truth? Well, that's the same debate Fett was having last year, buddy. A bunch of dicks were saying that calling out abusers would turn into a witch hunt. But why are they dicks for thinking that? Like, couldn't it happen? Could, but it's not likely. And besides, it's not like we're prosecuting the crimes. We just give people a place to recount their experiences as a warning to others. Gold nodded. And each dom would, hopefully, have a collection of ratings. So you'd get a variety of opinions on whether they're safe or not. A human being is not a restaurant on Yelp, Miles argued. Would you go on the internet and rate people you dated or had sex with? I looked at him strangely. Totally. Dude, there's tons of sites like that, Cayman pointed out. Miles shook his head. And they're horrible. What, like ratemyexgirlfriend.com? That's revenge porn. I opened a doc on my computer and started making notes, talking as I typed. I'm pretty sure people tell stories about their former partners all the time in memoirs and essays and whatever. We play the same way we normally would. But when we're done, we give the Dom a rating. Four stars for how they negotiate limits. Three for competence with equipment. Five for attitude or whatever. I like it, Gold said. Came and grinned. Yeah, I'd be down. It's like Dave said, Gold nudged Miles. More than anything, we get people talking about what makes a good Dom. Miles still looked unhappy. We're going to have a very small reach. We're all queer, and we've all incestuously seen with the, what, six queer male Doms in this community? I shrugged. I played with a shitload of guys who say they're straight. But in the event that our reach seems too limited, we could invite members to suggest doms to rate. Then we post the dom screen names and the members who've played with them can review them. And I can be flexible with who I play with, Gold mumbled. I cocked my head, about to pursue that, but Miles broke in. This is not what Hal would have wanted. Gold glanced sharply at Miles. Oh, really? I spoke cautiously, keeping an eye on Gold. Miles was bouncing like he had a violet wand up his ass, which, knowing him, was a distinct possibility. Hal didn't play safe, not by a long shot. He played like an idiot most of the time, and I doubt he'd have wanted to see us turn our sex lives into some kind of safety school special or shut up. Gold was half out of his chair. Just shut up, right now. Dude, Miles, that's all you do, I said. Anytime we're in the club, you lecture us on what the different pieces of equipment are called and how to use them properly, and Hal didn't die because he was an idiot. Gold's voice was shaking. He died because some jackass who called himself a dom broke one of the most basic fucking safety rules. He damn well would have wanted the community to be safer for other people. You don't know everything about him just because you fucked him! Miles shot back. Whoa! Guys! Guys! I looked from one to the other. Not sure how we'd gotten here. Calm down. Miles sniffed. Gold was still hovering just above his seat. He slowly sat back down. This isn't revenge porn or a safety special or whatever, I promised. It's just a forum where we talk about the issues submissives face in this community, and where subs can point out the strengths and weaknesses in doms that they've played with. We have a chance to do something good here. I turned to Miles. You're our best writer, and you're so organized. I feel like you'll do a great job, not just writing articles, but moderating reviews and discussions. We need you. I could see flattery take hold. Miles straightened his card again. All right, he said at last. I'll try it. But if this looks like it's going to blow up in our faces, I shall exit the aircraft with or without the rest of you. So we're agreed, I asked. The subs club is a thing, and we'll have a review blog as part of the site. Gold was looking at the table and not at any of us, which worried me a little. I'll get Ricky to help set up the review portion, I went on. He can be our IT guy. I looked at each of them in turn. Hey guys, welcome to the subs club. Cayman shook his head. Every time you say it, man, sandwiches.